We are live. Let me refresh and make sure we are 100% ready to go. Nothing yet. YouTube's taking a little while. Nothing yet. And you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. And we will see who is here before we start the show. Let's see, let me go back up. And Jose and Menes, J. Ochoa. And then, oh, same Jose. See, Jaden, Mr. Uh, the Man, Mr. Information and Hand, and Midwest Thrift, and Stevie D, hey, and Vine Vibes, Josh Brown, RX DDD Zero, Smooth Selling. What's up? Chino Brown, Caroline, I'm on a stationary bike in the garage again, putting in that work. Uh, Jalissa Hall, Mercurial Venom. Maximo, what's up? Let's see who else. Flipping the Hustle. And Stephen M. Just Fire Deals. eBay Joey. And Egg. And Middle M. Mr. More Mo. Money for Mars. See Sam, what's up? And Felicia. And Lil Genie, what's popping? Anna, still kicking at sports. Jaden Turner. Thrifty Scent. And Rush Royal. And Rookie Reseller. And looking forward to these. What else are we supposed to be doing during quarantine? <laughs> uh, EZ and Sneaker Finds, Diego and Victor, and more coming in. Mr. Romeo, let me look sure, make sure we didn't uh, freeze or nothing. No, we're good. All right, so let's start the show and get this thing out of the way. Red Drums. And get in here. Let me see. Share screen. <laughs> Share screen again. Application window. All right, and we are set. So let me get this. Whoops, one more, one more thing to get out of the way. It's a little laggy, a little behind. Okay, it's set. Nike transforming one of its popular sneakers into face shields for healthcare workers. This came out. This is our little opening segment, and we talked about it with Jake and the Bee, and wearing masks or anything. Now this is just for doctors, nurses, all of that. Not necessarily for us regular folk out there at the store trying to get, you know, whatever at Walmart or groceries or going to the post office. But are people going to start wearing masks and everything like that for fashion? Maybe. I mean, then they've been doing it before, but not to this extent to where I know people are making like camo masks and probably going to see Nike and more off white and whatever else. Um, <laughs> the next big thing I would Still, so still made in China. Yes, Caroline. <laughs> and let's see, cool mask. Let's see, district deals. Oh, district deals in the house. So making the shields required a nine-step process. They kind of go through that with Nike making these. But I did find a couple of different uh, interesting articles that I do think we should talk about. Let me get this. Man, I keep going back and forth. Okay, just making sure we're not freezing. And this one, three reasons why Nike can overcome the coronavirus crisis, which I saw this article. See if this is true or not and see what you think about these three reasons. And just first talking about the Nike shares and how much that they lost. Um, also relying on many retail partners like Foot Locker. And the first one is say China sales already bouncing back. So managed to post a 5% revenue growth in its fiscal third quarter, spite of nearly every store that sells its merchandise in China being closed. And uh, the result, after getting through uh, the apps and Nike Training Club and all of that, the result was 80% increase in engagement from the beginning of the third quarter to the end. And digital sales jumped more than 30% in China for the quarter. So talking about China already bouncing back sales-wise. Now, number two, Digital business is stronger than ever. And let's see, is uh, oh, 2017 talking about um, kind of going through um, the apps and narrowing down the partners that Nike was dealing with as well. And just having a, a better revenue stream coming from online sales, which we saw that they were doing more sales in general. A lot of their Nike outlet stuff got pushed to their website, and we saw that going through. But the third one I think was interesting. Uh, partnerships and resilience. So this one, um, let me see, Foot Locker and Dick Sporting Goods in the U.S. and uh, working on such partners on a daily basis and retailers and manufacturers it works with know that Nike's success is key to their own. 
kind of like Ross too. It's like, you know, and even with us, like we need these shoes to come in and Nike products to make sales. Uh, so their example, Foot Locker, sneaker retailer that has more than 3,000 stores globally and generates about $8 billion in annual revenue, uh, derives about two-thirds of its sales from Nike products. So yes, Foot Locker definitely needs a Nike more than anything. And I mean, what are the other brands? We're talking about Adidas, Under Armour. Most of it's going to come from Nike. And two companies have also partnered with power stores that feature interactive Nike technology and exclusive partners. Um, let's see what the chat says on here. What's up? Bigger brand. And oh, Fabian also here. Uh, finally made it to the live show. And Mr. Sports LA too. There we go. And DFW. So the thing is here, what's next for Nike? And there's no predicting when organized sports will restart, but when our athletes, teams, and leagues can return to competition, I do have one guarantee. When the gates reopen, uh, reopen when the first whistle sounds, the energy is going to be off the charts. So everyone's kind of like excited for us to finally be able to go to the stores. And here they're talking about, let's say, Nike outlets and Foot Locker, Foot Action, everything like that. Ross, Burlington, Marshalls, once they let us free, we can actually go. Will it be as wild as we predict? We shall see. Now, here's an interesting thing that came up on my feed. And see if you agree on these, that they did the numbers. And apparently, right now, during the virus, uh, top 100 fastest growing categories. Now, what people are buying right now in quarantine. And according to them, they did all the research. See if you agree on this. Number one, disposable gloves, I can see. Number two, bread machines. Uh, bread is one of the many items people have been stockpiling for their time at home, resulting in a shortage so shortage at grocery stores and a rise of bread machine sales. Number three, cough and cold. Soups at four, which most of the soups are gone, at least what I could see. And dry uh, dried grains and rice, packaged foods, fruit cups. Number eight, weight training, which we saw this one. Me and the B talking on the live show on Monday, people in the chat talking about weights and making really good money right now on weights. That's number eight. Uh, milk, number 10, dish washing supplies, and so on. So hand sanitizer, kind of a given. Pasta, I know. Target, uh, the Target that I went to is pretty, pretty much gone with any of that kind of pasta and soups and all that. Um, I agree. Let's see, I agree. Home workouts all day. Uh, what is it on computer monitors? Dog food for sure. I know people are buying that up. Um, I usually get dog food at Chewy.com, and then they were running behind a lot of stuff. Hair coloring, I guess with no trips to the hair salon. Uh, ping pong and office desks. Now we go to the opposite and fastest declining categories. Number one, luggage and suitcases with nobody going anywhere. Number two, briefcase. Number three, cameras. Cameras are that kind of interesting. I mean, people can still go outside, take pictures of nature and other random things, but they say maybe because no travel plans, weddings, sports activities, and other events, uh, no need for a camera. Uh, so swimwear, which I can see that too without going to the pool. Uh, bridal clothing, formal wear, swimwear again. Uh, this is where it gets interesting. So in our categories, boys' athletic shoes, gym bags and backpacks and then number 14 baseball equipment which burlington was uh, kind of stocking up in that kind of stuff masks and uh, or the uh, catcher's mask and gloves and things like that uh, number 42 girls athletic shoes and i didn't see men's athletic shoes or even women's oh there you go women's athletic shoes all the way to 82 let me see anybody selling golf clubs right now camping automotive mats i guess things that are strict decline since you can't go anywhere oh there's men's athletic shoes they have it at 48 uh people are still buying jordan so i think that's all that matters right now <laughs> and there you go hustle b it's in here let's see golf shoes golf shoes have been selling there we go from sam and uh, i miss baseball no little league world series either so there we go that was there uh, we'll talk about this more uh, when we talk with uh, Jake and the B on our live show for Sunday. We can't be like this for long. At some point, you have to face your fears, not be a present to it. And the thing is, I'm kind of curious, too, is like, don't they tell you once you do something for two weeks, that becomes a habit? 
So I think at this point, everyone's just kind of like quarantine, can't do anything. I'm kind of just used to this now. But yes, at some point, we're going to have to bust out of that and go back to uh, normal as, I guess, as close as possible if we can, whenever that is. All right, what are people buying right now uh, during quarantine? Speaking of that, so Michael Finley jersey, which I got this one at Uptown Cheapskate. You guys might remember this video was a month ago, month and a week ago. And I bought this one for uh, $17.99 plus tax, I believe. Came out to $19.47. I did take a best offer at $110. And eBay was a $10.07. PayPal, $514. Our shipping, $752. And we made $67.80 on the Finley jersey. Yes, I sold four NBA jerseys in a week from Mark Anthony. More jerseys been selling. Not sure why. Uh, men's Jordan Jordan 1 low. And I got this one. I sold it for $160. Purchase price $68.45. These were from the Nike outlet. Size 9. Sold for $159 with tax, came out to $173.39. No eBay fee, but PayPal with the taxes. And I believe these went out to New York, I think. So that came out to $1873. And uh, I probably should have done something with the shipping. I don't know why I just went with the USPS, but should have fixed that. <laughs> anyway, $70.94 was our profit on that one. So we made over 104% ROI. And let me see what I hear. People want to be comfy at home. Been selling replacement golf head covers. People lose them all the time. It's pretty hilarious. Still kicking at sports. Uh, let's see. I think people miss sports. My Tatum USA jersey finally sold during quarantine. Uh, that's pretty crazy, too. I think people are just, yeah, uh, jerseys and maybe some of the sports teams are starting to buy that up. Uh, yes, jerseys are selling. Thanks for, uh, for the sale. Smooth sailing. Appreciate that. Next one, I really thought about keeping these Vapor Max Plus. They are my size. They're all a little Hustler Hacks colorway. Seeing them in person, they're a little darker. They're supposed to be like Philly Eagles colorway. But I did sell them for 140 And I did we did pay a little bit more for these. I think they were $64.99 plus tax. Came out to $70.36. Uh, with tax, came out to $151. And our PayPal with the taxes and everything, $16.24. eBay fee at $4.20 since I did promote this one a little bit. Shipping at $9.25. And we did make over $50 bucks on this one. Got these on March 2nd. And an ROI at 74%. Next one, Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. These were my last two pairs of this one. Uh, in a 6Y, I sold all the other pairs that I had, and uh, this person bought the last two, so they were 150 each, no best offers or nothing. So both of them combined came out to 299.98, and uh, both of these combined came out to 163. So I paid how much did I pay for these? Like 70? No, less than 70 dollars each. Uh, eBay fee at six dollars, PayPal 13.50. We're talking about both of these combined. So it was a $300 sale with both of them selling, shipping at $13.74, and our profit we made a little bit over, what, $51 a pair. So $103.06, and these are from the Nike outlet. And I'm, these are the last two I held on for a good while and got these in December. And our last one, which was the Kobe AD NXT, and this is from one of the later Ross videos. They were a size 13 and a half. So a little awkward sizing, but they still sold uh, for $190. And our purchase price at $59.52. Uh, eBay at $380. I think I did promote that one. PayPal $16. That doesn't make sense. $16.18. I think with tax. So something's not right there. <laughs> but, well, I got to fix that one. That's not right with the PayPal. Shipping at $13.09. And, and our profit $97.41. Assuming that was, well, that was right. But... Sold for 190 and a pretty good size at a 13 and a half. So I see board games, video game shoes selling. And uh, let's see, Miles, what's up? Maximo Ball is Life. Uh, eBay fees a little high. Uh, PayPal always robbing. <laughs> Tax shouldn't be included in the fees. Um, I guess I include it whenever they 
Uh, whenever I look at the breakdown into my PayPal account and I see the fees charged, um, the PayPal fees charged and then the tax uh, charged, I just throw them into one. But maybe in the next one I could figure that out because <laughs> people are always wondering, like, why is that so high? I'm including the taxes in there. All right, weekend releases. And there are quite a bit of releases coming out, which they hadn't for the last two weeks. Nike said, you know what? Screw it. We're coming out with shoes. We have to keep on going, whether they buy them or not. And this one, the Jordan 7 Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Man, that was late. Super late on that one. Look at that retail. 250 250 retail for these. And I know the last time I checked, uh, before I did the show, I was like, is anybody buying this? And I went to Sneakers app. We'll double check right now. I'm pretty sure... All of this has to be in stock. And let me see, it's loading up. So this did come out today. And yes, 250 and none have sold out. So if you wanna make sure I can go uh, go on here. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Where's my, where's my video on here? And yeah, it's super late, there we go. No, there you go, okay. But none have sold, or none have sold out. $250 for these. And nobody liked the LeBron uh, Space Jam, which had kind of like the similar Bugs Bunny hair on the Nike swoosh. But this one on here, and yeah, that's uh, Jordan 7 Bugs Bunny. Or to say, <laughs> let's see, ugly, these are dope, but too high. And it's almost one fourth of my $1,200 <laughs> check. Them Jordan's about to show up at Dee Dee's discounts. I'd pay $150. $50 TJ Maxx finds, trash gray sevens. And I mean, they're kind of clean, but I just don't, I mean, that 250, I'm just, what are they thinking? Even if we weren't on quarantine right now, no one's paying that 250. <laughs> All right, next one. Let's see who saved up for the spending money on these. They'll be fire next year. Next one, DNA series. Now this one did get, I think, pushed back. We did talk about this one maybe like two weeks ago. 130. It's a combination of the Hirachis with the Air Max One, and they're switching colors, so the color blocking is different. And so you can see here, try to uh, mimic the OG purple Hirachi colorway on the Air Max One. So on these, smash or pass comes out tomorrow, April 9th. Let me see. I'd rather buy groceries. Oh no! Um, <laughs> still trying to get myself a pair of Space Jam Elevens, low genie. Uh, the color is pretty clean on these. I mean, the Air Max One. Hirachi, it's like, nah, I'm pretty sure you can wait on these going to the outlets. But you could actually wait on both. But smash on the Air Max. Pass, pass, and pass. Where's Jake doing his hair? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Where is that guy? This whole reselling thing has just become, you know, clout chasing and who finds the best stuff. See, shoes are nice, but the price is too high. Hustle B says whack, poop, and sleep. Next one, Jordan 1 Mid Multicolor. So 125, and this one also comes out tomorrow. Jordan Brand continues to add a catalog of Jordan 1 Mids in 2020 with a multicolored women's option. So let's see, uh, color choices, hemp, tongue, and timing of this release hint that it could possibly be a nod to every stoner's favorite holiday 420. So anybody want to try to pick these up? Anybody like the coloring on these? They are Jordan 1 mids, which in general people aren't really too thrilled about with mids, but the color might change that. I love the Jordans. I rock these are the cross colors denim jacket DVD. Not bad. Uh, we know how Glenn feels about the mids. Uh, let's see. Cute Sally Nightmare Before Christmas. Pass and that's a cop. Nah. See, seems like an Easter colorway, which kind of could do that. What the ones and pass. Wow, look at that. <laughs> now, Jake, he's ready for the Reebok question mid. Now, I did see these, that people could change the colors on here on the toe box. So, comes out on Friday, April 10th, price 140. Iverson's iconic uh, sneaker arrives in a clean white and black colorway with metallic gold accents. On Friday, but 140. Uh, would you want to pick these up? Let's see. Fire, smash, boo. 
Smash, dope, clean shoe. No, on the Reebok. Needs to be a darker gold and make it pop with the Reebok logo. Questions are hella comfortable. Let's see, hell yes, old man Krug still kicking its sports. Smash and smash. These young boys don't know about these great shoes. And hell yeah, Mr. Sports LA says no. Oh, Luki. Smash. Looks like a dad shoe from the 90s in a bad way. And smash again. I think pretty clean for the questions. Um, definitely a fan of the question mids. And But with 140 right now, I think I'd rather buy something else. But they throw them out there. Let's see how they do. All right, KDs. KD13 Hype. 160 also comes out on Friday, and let's see what they say on here. Latest instance is debut of the KD13, arrives in preheat colorway on Friday morning, dubbed the Hype. This pair is covered in Versace-esque print consisting of gold chains and butterflies. So smash or pass on the KD13s. Let's see, dear God, no. Still kicking its sports. Pass. Let's see, some two chains. <laughs> Dookie, uh, fire. Did KD survive the virus? That's a very good question. We didn't hear any updates on how KD was doing. Um, no way in hell, man. Let's see, KD two chains. Looks like a dumpster truck. KDs are super comfy. Looks like a nod to two chains. Pass. And uh, <laughs> COVID 19s, two chains. Nice shoe, wrong colorway. And my girlfriend would wear from Ryan. And let's see, Anna Pass. So pretty interesting. Comes out to 160 on these KD13s. Let's see how they do. I don't think they're going to sell out. I don't see any resale value on these. Um, but maybe for the collection, you're into the colorway. You're into uh, the whole, I guess, two chain style, like everyone's saying on here. Then might be something uh, to pick up. So, all right, let's get this on here. Next one, we're not done with the Yeezys. This time, Boost 700 V3 Alva. Did I say that right? 200 comes out on Saturday, April 11th. And the 700 V3 finally arrives in a new colorway this weekend. And simplistic execution with an all black prime knit upper with gray stripes uh, streaking across each side panel, sitting atop a blacked out sole. Um, I'm shocked on the retail price. So 200 trash. It's ugly. Pass. Sigh. Now you're talking, bro. Smooth sailing. That's a negative. See, smash glow in the dark is dope. Poop. Resale. Cop for resale. Looks like a bike seat. Alien pass. Poop. <laughs> Cop for resale. Let's see, smash to flip. Uh, smash. Man, we're a little mix on here because some people are liking these. Love it. Uh, oh, it's 220 in Adidas, so complex. It could step up their game. Uh, not 200, 220. Uh, resale money, hustle B. Easy pass. Uh, put it back in the toilet. And let's see, rather rock my Grant Hills. These are ugly. I thought all black shoes resell. Uh, 200, 220. So yeah, they should be 220. Let's see, if Yeezy would get... It looks like toilet water. What the, what the heck? Uh, V3 is sick and a uh, cop to sell, though. So a little mix on the Yeezy. And let's see what happens. That one on Saturday. And we'll find out next live show if you guys pick these up or not. But we're not done. We have Jordan 1 Court Purple. Now, Court Purple 2.0s. Um, did you pick up 1.0? Here's my, here's my random flex of the day. And my uh, 1.0 court purples, if you can see them. So being a Lakers fan, these were a must. So have those. But I know the quality is going to be different on these uh, compared to the first court purple. Um, so are you a fan of this one or are you a fan of the other one? And let me go and see. The thing is right now, if you want to go to StockX, I was kind of surprised. They seemed like they were a little low. As far as resale value goes, especially for a smaller size, like a size eight. So here I'm on right now, making sure you guys can see it. And we're looking at about 229. And now retail is at 170. So let's say 
Um, let's say I was trying to resell for two twenty nine, which is the lowest ask. You'd be making two o two. Now, if you're spending one seventy plus tax, probably like at one eighty two, one eighty three, you're making seventeen dollars. That doesn't sound right. So, I think if you did want to pick them up at two twenty nine, the lowest ask at a size eight, that's a pretty good deal. Um, <laughs> let's see, caught for personal. 10% margins. Local market is best for these. 1.0 better than 2.0. Um, I can't sell pairs before sneaker shipment goes out, so I don't know about these. Let me see. Yeah, look now. Pass. I'll have to see them in hand. Um, let me see. How'd you get your court purple? I did get them um, on Mercari. And, of course, I had to do a lot of research to make sure they were authentic as far as inside tag photos and everything else um i'd rock them beauty those are nice for the personal dope in my lakers shoe gear rotation mr sports la let me see as a lakers fan must cop i got a size nine and let me see making ten dollar profit making ten dollar profit and let me see and go for the yeezy so court purple and this one is initial delay which we clearly saw now coming out on saturday and mimics the OG Chicago color blocking. That's why we don't have it right here in the toe box. So uh, swaps out red panels for purple ones. Let's see how well they sell. But right now, like I said, it's a little low on a size 8. Usually the smaller sizes, they are a lot higher. Um, but we shall uh, see what happens. These sold out fast in Europe. And these are going to be a buy and hold for smaller sizes. If Travis Scott wore them, the market would go up. <laughs> All right, so that's it for our weekend releases. Now, store updates. Ross, everything is closed. I didn't see anything, but I did see an article about StockX. Now, uh, Scotty Cutler, which you can see him in the photo, uh, me and the B did meet him in his eBay days. But this uh, photo was a little funny, though. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, maybe trying a little bit too hard with the uh, the off-white, but what? who am I to say? This guy has millions. What, uh, who am I, right? <laughs> anyway, they did interview him, and he had a quote, which they asked him how StockX has been doing right now with the virus. And he says, Cutler said, it's been great for our business and growth, which is kind of a weird quote to say right now. Um, but anyway, he's saying that over the recent events, over the last couple of months, uh, we were able to benefit to our business more and more traffic buyers coming to our site because in some respects, traditional retail um, is not available. And let me see what the uh, <laughs> hustle be. Scotty, uh, yeah, the whole little photo shoot and everything. And let's see, he acknowledged that to accommodate that growth, StockX needs people in the warehouses where sellers send goods so that StockX can authenticate them before shipping out to buyers. And people in those centers that are coming to work right now even in places like New Jersey, they're certainly impacted. And it says they're operating under all the local rules and regulations that we have in different places that we operate. So trying to keep everybody safe right now, all the employees. Let me see, look good. Oh, there you go, Miles, coming us on the baby update. Just turned a month old last week, already getting big. Stay, uh, thanks for asking Stevie D. So Miles, congrats, a month old, that is insane. Because that went super quick. Let me see. What about the Jordans come out April 25th? We'll talk about that one on the next live show. We'll talk about the DMPs. Um, a lot of people dumping their collection to pay bills from Hustlebee, which I do agree on that one. Let me go in here. Not frozen yet. Still, uh, tell Stock is sending me my Jordan 1 bread 2013. Thanks, B. <laughs> Smooth sailing. So that was it for our store updates. We didn't get anything else since everything else is technically closed all right we're 30 minutes in and now we can start our last little segment which where are they now flood edition we did this last week people enjoyed it and going to double and triple check our flooded you know merchandise from ross burlington and marshall's some are some aren't did they sell well are they still trying to sell and maybe you have some of these in your inventory right now that maybe you can or cannot get rid of. Here's the first one, TBS Marketplace and Kicks for Flips. Um, 
Who remembers this Vapor Max from TJ Maxx at $50? And a couple of pairs here. Um, let me see. Where are we in the chat? Uh, what's the giveaway? Same thing. Straight cash to your PayPal. I can't get gift cards right now. So I'm just giving you straight money to your account, <laughs> to your PayPal. Friended account. I passed on those. Those are ugly. Um, let me see. These are horrible. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the new edition of the Great Flooded Ones. Now, here's my question for the chat, though. If you did pick these up, did you already sell them? This is back November 2019, so you still had a month away uh, before kind of hitting Christmas time, kind of the sales coming up. Did they sell well for you, or are you still holding on to these, trying to get you know make good money out of them, or have they just not been able to move at all? Felicia said, I finally got rid of mine. There we go. Never saw them. Uh, let me see. These are horrible. Uh, TJ Maxx doesn't even carry shoes. So this was back in November. Uh, ugly poop water and never seen them. So we'll review these. First, we're going through the 10 and then we'll go through the listings. Second one, Hustle 2 Win tagged us on those UG tra- uh, Jeremy Scott. I was going to say Travis Scott. <laughs> Jeremy Scott, classic short flames. Uh, these were a hundred dollars at the time when people first saw them $100. And I do believe Burlington started to get them later on. This was back in October, 2019 from Ross, $100 compare it to 90 on these, uh, wrong Scott. (laughs) Also be, uh, let's see money from Sam. Never seen these. These were some huge sales. I think the people that first saw them before the flood, cashed out and made some good money i don't know how they did after the fact we will find out when we go through them let me see did you ever sell the air max deluxe i can't get rid of them um which ones i I did sell the like a sunset type of one i got at the outlets and i didn't get many of the green one i think i only got one see i returned mine they tried to give me a hard time texas pete On the Uggs, let's see, uh, what are those? (laughs) Sold a pair locally. Uh, Let me see, isn't this supposed to be a Kobe edition show, Maximo? (laughs) Let me see, double up, best Kobe finds. We we need to get some more Kobe. I definitely agree with Maximo, more Kobe stuff. I would love to pick up those Uggs from Anna, never seen. So we'll go through these and see how they did. Souls and Stitches, SC Flippin' and Mr. Half a Pino. And I also believed our boy Carlos Relentless Resale picked up quite a bit of these. 270 uh, gray and university red. Now, they were also a little bit pricier at the time, $65, which I think people did pass because of that price. Obviously, some of these guys didn't. They still picked these up, but $65. August 2019. This has been a while. So six, seven, eight months a little bit more, nine months. This is from Ross. Uh, let me see. Easy cash on them. Also never seen these. Wait this one out and cash out. Let me see. Didn't see these. Texas Pete. So, yeah, $65 on these. And we'll go through this one. Trash Dookie Hustleby. No cool colorway. They are all right. Next one. Down Alpha Cleat. Maybe this one. Smooth Sailing. Maybe we're talking about these. See, Bam Flips, Hustle to Win, and these were also $65, October 2019, Air Max Plus T end in that that a green green gradient, I would say, in October. So glad I didn't see these, Mr. Sports LA. Um, Sold these within a week of copying from Miles. Probably the same thing. If you got them early, easier to sell, and then we started to see a lot more coming through. Cashing out though, eh, passed when I saw them. Um, sold two pairs of them, still flipping them from Sam. Never saw, no to the Air Max Deluxe. Um, whoa, Dookie. <laughs> Let me see, where's my hustle with you? One other go. Oh, Dookie. Uh, sold pair, four pair of those. And don't get me wrong, I think for the collection wise, they're pretty clean. Um, but we'll find out how they are selling. Activate hustle mode. Mr. Half a Pino kicks four flips and my boy Stevie D 
which is in here. Save it. And uh, $75, Vapormax 2019 black and metallic gold. Now, these hit us. They hit us with $75 price at Ross January 2020 of this year. So we're still mm, three months. See, not for $75. Too damn much from Tyler. I pass on these Vapormax only big sizes from Miles. I like those. Passed on them. Uh, let me see. That's why y'all never buy overstock so hard to even sell. I might be wrong from Connor. They hit us with nothing but size 13s. Let me see. I've seen them at the same price too much with no box. So we'll go through these $75 earlier um, in the year. I only saw size 13, and I still have a size 13 and passed. Electric Relish. This one was Epic Rack Flyknit South Beach. $50. October 2019. So we're still uh, six months ago, more or less. Uh, did you guys pick up any of these? South Beach Colorway. They were in the men's section. $50. I'm pretty sure we came across these many of times. I did not pick them up, but I do remember seeing them. A uh, massive pass. <laughs> pass. Uh, let me see. Pass again. I still have those smooth sailing. Passed. I passed on these. I still have three pairs from Patrick. I never saw them at my Ross and I got them but returned because of the flood from Felicia. So we'll look at that one. Next one, a tribe called Steels. This one is interesting because Marshalls, Burlington, and I'm not, maybe Ross got a couple. But I believe Burlington is probably where we found most of these. Now, if you did find them at Marshalls, complete with box, that's a totally different game that you know you can sell multiple platforms. But $60, I'm showing you uh, the Marshalls picture. And I don't I don't remember what the Burlington price was on these. So 95 Air Max 95 Windbreaker. I sold a boatload of these as high as 140 no box DVD. So congrats on that one. I still have all three at Marshall's. Uh, Caroline, a little mix. I got three of them sold really fast. I only had seen size six and smaller, and I passed. Uh, November 2019, there was nothing at my Marshall's. Uh, seen uh, black pairs. Love what you're doing. Pull over. Appreciate that. And anything else on here? And I paid $50 from Extra Grands. So we'll look at that one. And the last ones, let me see. I know Stevie D, I'm pretty sure, found these. Uh, Romaleo's Atmosphere Gray and Pink Colorway. Now, is this right? I couldn't see what the price was on these. I don't know if they were $24.99 or $19.99. But December, that's wrong. It's supposed to be 2019. December 2019 from Burlington. Photo from uh, Flip Flips. Let me see. Left of those, Mr. Sports LA. I had like 37 of these, Stevie D. Uh, oh, 29 at Burlington, Stevie D. So not 19, 29. I found 40 of these at Ross last month. Haven't seen these at Burlington. Just sold mine yesterday for 80. Tyler, uh, $20 cop. Sneaker finds 12. And nice to have an 88 group for sneaker. <laughs> See, only sold one, and I'd pick them up from Edward. So we'll look at the Romaleos. Oh, man. What about these? What about these bad boys at $60 in the women's section? Vapor Max 2019 teal. Yes, a little Hustler Hacks colorway, but that still did not help us. And a 760 cleater with the photo. Price at $60. This was earlier in the year, January 2020. And <laughs> the chat is uh, not having it. Yuck. Pass. Oversaturated. Uh, let me see. Future pickup. Oh, yeah, that was the last one. Husser Hacks Vapor Maxes. I sold one for 110 on Mercari last week. Congrats on that one, Mercurial Venom. Uh, more pass. No more passes. Oh, Luki. Uh, never found those and still flooded. Another Ross return and regret. Oh man, this is uh, this one is a little tough, but I know some people still have these. I still have five pairs of the teals, and uh, sold on goat small profit. Bought one, one too many. And I'm very sensitive. 
Need to include Hustler Hacks PE on the title PE. Oh, man. Anything that can help at this point. And our last one from Sneaky Hustler. We have the Diamond Turf. Those good old classic Dion Sanders. $60. And July 2019. So this is last summer uh, from Burlington. And I do believe earlier this year they kind of crept up on us. And I started to see more starting to show up. So Burlington did get kind of like a little, a little second wave of these. Bro, please, those are trash. <laughs> uh, let's see, passed on those hard. Trash again. Um, never even thought about picking them up. Uh, seen them also, saw and passed. A massive pass. Uh, passing the black and white pair at Ross. 75, way too expensive. I do remember earlier this year, Ross tried to hit us with $75 price tag on the black, white, and gold pair of the Dion's. Never came across them. Flipped a full-size run. Still holding on to size 6. Didn't even touch them. Pass, but it is a classic shoe. Oh, Lukey. Pass and pass. So that was our last one. We can open up the listings. We'll go a little bit quicker. I know last time we did kind of take our time. Uh, unless you want me to take my time, I can do that. But there's quite a bit of them to go through. So let me remove from stream. And then we will get this on here. Share screen. And here's our first one. So we talked about those Vapor Max in gray, I mean in gold. Uh, new other man. Look at this one. Size 10, $69. Best offer, $10 shipping, 14 watchers. A good top rated seller, but uh, cheap on this one. So more than likely trying to get rid of these, especially selling at 69 and paid 50. Uh, complete with box, 159 100 71 uh, no lid, 99 You might as well just go to an extra penny and don't pay the fee. Uh, 109 78 there's the same one again at 99 89 123 So some price a little bit higher, trying to make the best of it. We had, I believe, 60, yeah, 60 results. And let's see if they were actually selling. Let me see. Take your time. What does everyone have going on? <laughs> All right. So $86 buy it now. April 3rd, five days ago. $86 again. Uh, yeah, this one, man. This one was just a cry for help. Just get me out of here. They run 50% off sale and $50 plus that 10 shipping. And someone picked that one up on uh, April Fool's Day. Uh, no less. <laughs> $63. 120 complete with box size 10 and a half 89 and a 130 size 11 sold on March 17th not bad uh, but then again it also is a uh, complete with box 69 85 and 102 back in March so fail fast Eddie they needed that toilet paper money and Caroline a little hurt a little banged up emoji um head is hurting on that one next one about those uggs jeremy scott 66 results right now and everyone i, I would think would be priced pretty high if they were 100 dollars at ross but 184 225 299 this is what we like to see 315 let's see 249 uh, 150 or best offer so trying to get out of it a little bit uh, here we go. Here's Hustle be at 529, uh, 289, 197. Let's see, 327, 329, 275, 249, 199. Let me see. Wow, too much. <laughs> so let me see how many 60 again. Yeah, 66 results. And drug money, Caroline. Let's see what they're selling for and how they've been selling for the last three months. 21, 21 results, so 66 live right now, and 21 have sold since how far back do we go? Let's go to, uh, oh, ended recently, so let's go to the very end. January 10th, that's not even the right one. This isn't even the right one. What the heck? Hold on, there we go. Oh, here we go. What are the wrong ones? Okay, 
Man, 245. Congrats on that one. January 10th. Cashed out good money on that one. 182. The, now we're going in January. Um, let me see. 150, 175, 169. Pre owned doesn't count. 199, 199 best offer. So even then, let's say making, I don't know what kind of best offer they took, but. I mean, hopefully still making at least like 60 bucks, but even then seeing some of these guys like at 299, you know, making way more money from that. 299 again was the latest one, April 8th. So people are weird. They what they like that chef from Food Network tacky. Uggs resell really well when they're special edition. Um, and those Uggs are not it. Next one. This one was interesting. Because I put in style code, I put in 270, I put in the colorway, I did everything I could to find the most listings possible, and I came out with 34 results. 123, 124, 144, 137. So what this tells me is that low ballers have already gone away. Um, now, keep in mind, I think we found these in July of last year. So at this point, low ballers are done. Um, they're not around here, nowhere to be found. They're in hiding. They're gone. 140, 145, 190, 180. Uh, 129 might be the lowest one. 183, 140 again, 182, and 169. I like this. No low ballers. So, man, not bad at all. Everyone's priced uh, pretty high and competitive. And 34 results. Let's see how they were selling. Let's go to completed listings. Let's see. They sold them on GOAT for $12 profits. What am I supposed to do with $12 profit? I got kids. Ended recently. The last one sold for $128, April 2nd, $139. Oh, no. What happened here? One bit, $59. One off, what best offer accepted? I don't know what happened here. Something's not right with this listing, but I don't like it. 134, uh, pre owned doesn't count. 129, 147, 129, 149, 129, pre owned doesn't count. And this one might have been the lowest one we've seen 114 with the best offer and free shipping. So, not bad. I think if you really, really held on for this one, long term sale. I think it would have definitely would have been good in that one. Are we always picking up 270s for 75 or less? Not the case, because I remember when this one came out, a lot of people passed. They were like, this is, there's too many of them. They're flooded. And that's the reason why I like going through these, because we had a we had a batch of people that ignored them, and then we had a batch of people that bought them. So I like to go through these and see um, how they were selling, but not bad. I like this. No low ballers. Get at it. That's good. Okay, Air Max Plus in green, that green gradient. We're still at 123 results. This one was found. Let me find the date. This one was back in October 2019. So we're about six, seven months, and we're at 123 results still on these 129, 124, 145, 104, probably the lowest one we've seen right now, 120, 120. Even then, if you're priced 120 and above, at least you're you're staying above it and trying to be competitive out there and not going, you know, 80 or anything. Everybody else, 134, 150, 150 again. Let's see, 129, 119. It might be the lowest one. Is like that 119 range? So let's see, solds. Whoops. Look at how many sold. 161 since January. Um, a lot of them have been selling, and we're still left with 123 results. Let me see. I don't know where people are selling those things. eBay, Mercari, etc. Uh, are pulling those items, though. I was talking about the uh, the other ones. Toilet paper and sanitizer. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me go back. All right. 120, 124. 124, pre-owned doesn't count, 110, 124, 124, 150. So not bad. I mean, you just got to play this one out. People are definitely still buying them. Even going back April 1st, 
we still had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten have sold this month, and we're eight days in. So one selling per day. All you got to do is hold out and uh, keep that price high if you still have this shoe out there. So um, you've already been holding on since October. So why why give it away now? All right, VaporMax 2019 in metallic gold, 134 results. Now, here's the interesting thing. How many size 13s are out there? Since I've seen them be the most popular size, 65. So looking at the data, half of them that are listed right now are size 13, which is pretty wild. So let's go back. So 65 are size 13. The rest um, are a mix of random sizes. 100 size 11 i think if you're not a size 13 you gotta bump up that price right now i think you can definitely hold off vapor max 2019 maybe isn't the best vapor max out there but the colorway is clean and uh size 13 seems to be the most competition but even then 65 results size 13 we're at 130 oh is, is that hustler hacks 130 uh, 90, 100, 109, 119, and 80, the size 13. So let me see. This one came out uh, January of this year, so plenty of time. I don't think there's a rush on them. Let's see the solds. 92. Not bad at all. 92 results. Ended recently. Uh, 85, 100, 100, 100. 89 so we did to get some trying to get out of it a little bit this one went on bid 86 uh 40 uh 47 are they pre-owned let me see oh, okay they're pre-owned i'll i'll allow that one to slide um <laughs> 115 110 120 and 109 so same thing i think just hold out on this one no need to rush on them because they are selling 92 results out of the last uh three months not bad. I remember someone using your picks for this one. I'm pretty sure they did. They steal them all the time. And some of you guys do send me like, hey, take this one down. And I'll send them messages to take it down. But sometimes they're just, there's a lot of them. Get me out of here, prices. <laughs> Next one. Here's the South Beach. Epic Rack Flynet South Beach. 89 results going on right now. Well, 90, 100, 89, and 98. Um, let me see. 109, 89, 94. Everybody is less than a hundred, more or less, except for that one at 120, 129, 129. Um, maybe every time we scroll down, the prices get a little bit pricier and they're kind of going up. Uh, 150 on that one with box. 104. Is this shoe selling? 89 results, completed listings at, and we're almost there. 62 results, not bad too. Ended recently, 100 minus the fees, 100 minus the fees, 109 minus the fees, 85, 85, and uh, uh, man, 59. Uh, this is what, March 7th, so about a month ago. And, uh, oh, pre-owned, okay. You're allowed to stay. These are hella comfortable. Bought a couple for 69 and uh, for resale, I'm talking about the Vapor Max. Next one, Air Max 95 Windbreaker. And uh, here we go. That in-store action. That in-store photo straight from Marshalls. We got the 95 Windbreaker uh, new without box. We got two photos. We got Marshalls photo and we got box. And part of a toe. That's it. Uh, let me see. But 100% positive feedback. And from Jersey. <laughs> let me see. Dummies, love out loud. I like those. Let me go back. Let's see. 80, $98. 119 109 Complete with box. I think if you're complete with box, you know, you definitely have some more leverage right there. So you can bump up those prices a little bit. Brand new, seven and a half, eighty-five dollars $85, but 20 shipping. 120, 139, 149, very nice. Uh, 112, 109 with box, size seven, a little bit smaller. 
Let me see. I love when people assume they know what someone paid. <laughs> I like what well, I found like six of those Air Max 95s passed on all. Uh, lazy on the photo. All three of mine, no lid. Toe game strong. 120 free shipping. And slap. What's up? What about no lid? Uh, what about no lid? Um, well, I think still you'd be competitive on the pricing. I think if you have, you know, with box, but even then, I think this one could probably go a little bit higher, even with box. Uh, let me see, 211 results, but let's see how they've been selling on here. And solds, uh, 76 results, 80, 109. That's a different windbreaker. 75, 125. This isn't, you know what? Take off pre owned. This one, I don't think that one's pre owned, but who knows? You know what? Let's just see what it is. Uh, new with box, man, surprise, $60 and shipping at $13.99. That's that's wild. Uh, happy camper, no, I did not do the giveaway. Uh, 89, 109, 82, 60, oh, 84. $65, let's see. Uh, new without box from Brooklyn. So 65 bucks, came out to 85 with shipping. Still still way too low on that one. Uh, what is that? This from a store too? Can't even tell. All right, people yanked the chains. <laughs> let's see, size seven though. I'm kind of curious how many size sevens are listed. Sorry for the scrolling. We go on here, men's shoes, and let's see, size seven. Uh, twenty only twenty three results. So even then, not bad. Out of the two hundred, whatever, only twenty three are size seven. So you're not you're not too bad on that one. Uh, twelve dollar profits or ten dollar profits. Making ten dollar profits. All right, Romaleos, going by style code, and this is the gray one. Uh, we got the car pick. Who does the car pick? Let me see you in the chat. You know, once you get in, the finds are nice and fresh. You know what? Let me just take a photo right here, right now. Uh, that one, $85. $129. Ronzo's, my boy Ronzo's, $129. Uh, $80, $99, $118, $129. A couple of low ones, but for the most part, I think, oh, never mind. I found, we found the lowest one. Let's see, $59, new without box. Yeah, that one. That one's the lowest one. $59 bucks with shipping at $12. Uh, $145, $80. Seventy, and a little collection in the background. Very nice, little LeBrons, little Air Max ninety fives, and a one hundred nine and one hundred twenty. Doesn't Jake do the car picks? <laughs> uh, wasting no time for the picks, Barry. Uh, only do the car pick for electronics. Love out loud from Miles. Uh, let me see. I have the cashier hold up the shoes and take my eBay picks. Nice. Let me see how many Romaleos have been selling. Do you think Romaleos? are somewhat dying down this month because they can't hit the gym since they are kind of like an in gym shoe that you must wear right power lifting shoe 67 results still not bad 100 119 uh two of them have sold this month both of them over 100 both of them kind of equal almost about 120 range if you're considering the shipping in there and late last month 120 120 Ah, uh, man, 60. Are they pre-owned? And they're not. They're not pre-owned. So, uh, yeah. Could have held on a little bit more, especially when four of them right after you sold at 120. So, hit the home gym. <laughs> That's pretty wild. We got two left. We have, oh, man, look at this bad boy. I did by, I did by name. I did by colorway. I did everything I could, but just going to specifics. And in the style code, we got 393 results on the Vapor Max 2019 on that Hustler Hacks colorway. Ooh. So 102, 94, 100. I'm pretty sure at this point, everybody's probably going to stick around that 100 range to try to like not pay that fee, still make some something out of this and not give them away so for the most part uh there's a couple of them a little bit below that one doesn't count but i don't know how that one they got the wrong style code 
Uh, let me see. 189. Have fun holding on until 2030. <laughs> let me see. 110, 100, uh, 120, 134. So we're priced a little bit higher. But how many have sold out of all these? So 393 results. And our sales are at... 159 so they are moving people are buying them but i'm guessing i haven't gone through this yet i'm only guessing they're buying them if they do find a steal 75 70 77 you know people that are probably really really wanting this shoe well 120 april 4th stand corrected congrats on that one for 120 uh, 69, you know what? The hell with it. Let's just throw it on bid. $88. 99. 100, 100. Screw it. Put it on bid. 55. Uh, 71 on bid again. Oh, my boy Ronzo is at 120. That's what I like to see. I like this. No low ballers. Uh, Ronzo's at 120 and sold. So, uh, the thing is, you can wait this one out, but they are they are selling quite a bit. 159 results. I do like that. So I would say at least um, at least don't pay the fee. Um, you know, I don't no need to be at 70 whatever range right now. All right, next one. Putting it on bid is the worst option. Why do people do it? Because they want to get out of it. They're tired of seeing it, and they figured, let's get something out of this. Now they're also taking the risk. Maybe they're going to lose money. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll get their money back. But that's the whole fun on going on bid. And our last one, the Deion Sanders that people are saying like, why would I pick these up, Glenn? This is ridiculous. 47 results. Let's take out the pre-owned. Let's go new only. And now we're down to 42 results. 100, 94, 92, 79, 105. And so not that many listed at 42 uh, let's see how many have sold though. 47, man, that's wild. So, uh, 42 listed and 47 have sold in the last three months. 100, dang, 59, uh, 75, 130 plus 10 shipping. I like that one. Size 12, uh, 100. At least took away the fees. 89, 116, 120. And man, some of these just get lower though. 76. Let's see the lowest. Let's see back in January. What were they selling at? January 11th with box 89, 79, 120. Still that one with box or no box? New without box. Hustle Unlimited. So at 120. So congrats to you on that one. Mine can sit, not giving them away. Mr. Sports LA sold mine for 120. And uh, back in January, people had jobs. That is very true, though, Hustle Crow. I do, uh, I do agree. Uh, these are different times now, and I'm super pumped. Whenever we, well, what happened here? <laughs> well, we can get back to our normal hustling sourcing reality. So, share screen. Let's go back where we were. Whoops, application window. And here we are, back to where we are, were on the slideshow. So. That was it. We went through all of those, the flooded ones. But for the most part, we had some pretty good gems in here that were actually selling pretty good. But giveaway time. So here we go. $30 to your PayPal account from your good old pal, Hustler Hacks. And here we go. Put them in order. Most listings to least. Now, if you're watching this whole show, this is probably going to be pretty easy for you. Uh, we just clearly went through all four of these. Here's your time to shine. Here's your time to make an easy $30. And I'll go through the chat. And here they go, coming in. Anna and Kelly and Brian, quick answers. Let's see. Oh, crap. I don't think I took a screenshot of what the what the answer was. <laughs> Let me see if I did. Uh, hopefully I did. And I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to have to hide this. Let me see. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to hide this real quick. All right, let me let me get my answer and take a photo of it, and hopefully you guys can't see it. Okay, got my answer. 
and go back and we can throw this back to the stream all right let me go through the answers and see who won lp cells was the first one and he says uh, no but very close brian no anna x oh, no very close kelly no that one was close though too starting off with x you're right on that one still kicking at sports X, no. Uh, Destiny Scott, no. Barry, no. Uh, LP Sells, no. Miles, no. Mark Anthony, no. Mr. Mormo, no. Uh, still kicking at sports, no. Upper Goal, no. Just Fire Deals, no. Uh, checks Over Stripes, oh man. My thing got all messed up. Let me go back. Where was I? Checks over stripes. X, oh, no. Hustle Crow. X, no. Wait, X, no. Very close, though. Mark Anthony, no. And Yarzov, no. Wait, X, no. All right, Omar, no. Sneaker Finds, no. Let me double check. Did I uh, make sure I didn't, didn't pass this one? Uh, no, no one's got that one right yet. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, keep going down. I'll take my time on this one, as long as I get the right answer. Omar? No. Still no. Mercurial Venom? No. Brian? No. Jose? No. Mark Anthony? No. Just Fire Deals? No. Happy Camper, no. Barry, no. Eric, no. Um, <laughs> LP Sells, no, but very close. Coach Steve, no. Fast Eddie, one away. Fast Eddie was very, very close. Sal, no. This is wild. What's going on here? Upper Goal, no. Mark Anthony again? No. Mr. More Mo. One. Yep, Mr. More Mo. X. One. Y. Two was the answer we were looking for. That one took us a while. Um, <laughs> let me see. More answers are coming in. But Mr. More Mo, congrats to you. Uh, you got that one correct. And Miles was right after you. Um, according to my screenshot. So very, very close. Um, and not only that, I think, oh no, Miles was the next one up. But congrats on that one. And we will uh, send you that uh, send you that money. But yeah, that one that one took us a little while, which is which is good. At least we got to mix it up a bit. All right, get this out of the way. Anything you want to say uh, before we go? Sunday, we're going to do our live show again with the B and Jake. Uh, me and the B will be on Monday answering all the questions, talking more strategies. I think people really liked that live show. Um, so we'll throw in more Hustle B and less Jake, according to the polls that we've been doing. <laughs> and let's see, congrats. Anything else on here? Any other questions? Hopefully everyone's staying safe in the quarantine and everybody's... Uh, I guess working on the business or uh, trying to get rid of stuff that you found deep in the piles, death piles or closets or anything. Um, any problems with the goat app today? Uh, nothing, nothing yet. Great show as always. Appreciate that. Chino Brown. Um, hit that like button like Stevie D hitting them jumpers. Yeah. Hit that like button. Appreciate that. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Wash those hands. Smash the like button. Anyone know what happened to eBay Global Shipping Program? In the past, all you had to do was check the box. Now, they have a bunch of shipping options um, from Jam. I didn't notice anything changing. I can double check, and we can talk about it on Monday, but I didn't see anything weird. I'll let you know. Uh, 269, Jamal going through hard with Ross withdrawal. So appreciate that, Stevie D, on the super chat. So close, Miles. Uh, but yep, appreciate you coming out for the live show, Miles, every single Wednesday. 
And remember, congrats on the baby. All right, great. So as usual, extra grand. Thanks for that. Hit that like button, Mr. Uh, Demand, Mr. Information. And I just shipped global shipping, same as normal. I think they posted some international shipping options not available right now. So that's maybe what we're talking about, Hustle Crow. Still kicking the sports, great show. Appreciate that. And uh, hit the like button, hit the like button. So we'll see you guys on Wednesday with Jake and the B. Just kind of talking sneaker talk. Uh, not really any uh, strategy stuff, business stuff. But Monday, me and the B will come at it and ready to go with all the uh, business stuff and questions and all of that. So appreciate it, guys. Stay safe. Go out.